Hey Capricorn, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is going to be a two-week reading this week. Um, most likely I will have readings out for you guys next week, but just in case I can't, I way overbooked my schedule next week. Um, so just in case, the weeklies take up a lot of my time. So if I can't get to them, at least you have these and you can save this to your saved videos and you can revisit it next week, okay? All right, let's get into it. This is just in case, but these are bigger. They're gonna be big readings compared to the normal weekly readings because they're for two weeks, okay? So I'm gonna add, also we're gonna be including after tarot, which I know everybody loves because it shows us what's coming next. So that's like the prelude going into the following week, right? So, or the week after even. We are gonna be using Celtic Universal, we're gonna be using Green Witch Tarot, and we're starting out with Wisdom of the Oracle. And like I said, we're gonna go all the way into After Tarot on this one, and we're, these are also gonna be slightly bigger than your normal weekly readings, okay? Um, let's do it, Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good for Capricorn, what do we need to know? Next two weeks, uh, Soulmates. Wow. Okay. Soulmates imagine and exchanging gifts. Um, what's at the bottom? Go the distance. Wow. Right to the finish line. All right. So this is really cool. So this tells me someone here, you are thinking about, um, working it out with a soulmate and you know, you can imagine going to the finish line with this person. Um, I have to say bottom of the deck, loyal hearts is sitting down there too this was your bottom card but right behind it is loyal hearts which is this the other there's two soulmate cards in this deck and that's the other one so i just thought i'd mention it um so you are thinking about this this imagine i'm thinking about working it out exchanging gifts with my soulmate to go the distance spirited angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this reading what do we need to know what are the messages What do we need to know? What are the messages? The Page of Swords. Two of Pentacles reversed. The, wow, okay. The Eight of Wands reversed and the Emperor. the Ace of Pentacles reversed. The King of Wands reversed. The Hermit reversed. One more card for Capricorn or anyone else who's guided. And the Six of Pentacles, exchanging gifts. Wow. All right. So, well, uh, let me take a look back here. I want to just see what's going on. Right. The Devil sits right back here in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune's back there in reverse, and the Knight of Swords is between it. So this tells me somebody's going to speak that hasn't spoken. Um, there could have been a fear factor, the uh, Nine of Swords. Um, so this really feels to me like someone's going to say something or come forward or, um, and look at how the, um, the page of wands is, um, working with the universe or getting their information from spirit. It looks like they, they're like grabbing that information or, um, and look at how the page of cups is reversed. It's almost like someone decides again to, so the page of wands for me also can be communications. It could be messages. It could be information. It could be a proclamation. It could be anything like this. I feel as though someone is going to like battle their fears and speak up where they were not speaking up before. They're going to speak up. They're going to fight the fears. They're going to fight the devil that held them back and they're going to speak and it's going to change this stuck energy here with the wheel of fortune reverse. Um, as we come into the reading, there it is again. Page of Swords, a message, information, speaking, um, clarity. There's something going on. And this is something someone's been thinking about over and over again, thinking about it, imagining it, wanting to present it, wanting to work it out with their soulmate. All right, so the Eight of Wands is reversed. I feel like, again, just like that Wheel of Fortune reversed, this has been like on hold. 
Um, and I feel like we're thinking about speaking up and changing that and bringing in a new beginning, Ace of Pentacles. Also, we've got the Emperor taking action. We've got the King of Wands reverse. So I feel as though... Um, this is something someone's thinking about. We got the Hermit here reversed as well, who's been enlightened about it. And we got the Exchanging Gifts card, just like that one, the Six of Pentacles, balancing something out. And the Hermit's shining the light right on the Six of Pentacles on the table. I feel as though we're going to go from this sense of, like this inaction, King of Wands reversed, Eight of Wands reversed, to taking control of the situation, Emperor. But let's find out what we can about this. Um, where somebody's actually going to speak up where they've been holding back. Um, now, this could be you or this could be them. Spirit and angels, anyone. I think it's you, honestly, because you're, well, you're the one thinking about it. Imagine. Uh, exchanging gifts, soul make of a distance. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know here about this reading? Capricorn reading for anyone who's guided. Capricorn reading for anyone who's guided. All this page activity, uh, the, oh gosh, I got stuck. Hold on one sec. I got, okay, there we go. I've got the, um, high priestess. Um, so this absolutely could be, uh, someone speaking up. I feel like somebody is going to speak about something, you know, that's been kept secret. Like it's been a secret up till now. Um, let me, and they're thinking about this. This is something, whether it's, I feel like it's you. Let me look at the two of pentacles reversed, two of pentacles reversed. What do we need to know? Oh gosh, there it is. I see it. Okay. We got one that's wanting to fall out and one that okay. We got three really. These two would not go back in. They were sticking out and this one flipped face up. So we're going to take all three. We've got the four of wands reversed. We've got the star and we've got the hierophant. Wow. All right. So this is all about relationship or partnership in some way. Hierophant, it's a bond. It's a commitment. Four of wands, relationship, star, something I really, really want, something I keep thinking about over and over again. There's something, someone's been quiet and they haven't spoken, but they are very much thinking about and wanting star this commitment. Um, tell me about the eight of, if this is not you, this is the other person. Uh, tell me about the eight of wands reversed. What do we need to know? Capricorn reading, eight of wands reversed. King of Athams reversed. Somebody, uh, you guys are not speaking or there's somebody here who's not I feel like you're not speaking. Eight of Wands reverse, King of Wands, uh, Swords reverse. Now, when we say not speaking, it could be just not speaking a truth. Remember, we need to speak a truth here. Um, tell me about the Emperor. What about the Emperor? Four of Athams reversed. All right, so this tells me um, someone's going to take action. We're, we were, see, this is like I'm taking a break. I'm laying low. I'm doing whatever I'm doing on my own. Quiet time, quiet time. I'm taking an action now. It is reversed, and we've got the emperor. This is someone taking control of a situation. Tell me about the um, Ace of Pentacles here reversed. Ace of Pentacles. This could be you. This could be them. Someone's just in this real emperor kind of energy. This is a control energy for me, regardless of your um, gender. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles here reversed. What about the Ace of Pentacles reversed? Yeah. Emperor reversed. And I kid you not, bottom of the deck, Empress reversed. Wheel of Fortune right behind it. I kid you not. Look at that. New beginning, Emperor and Empress both reversed here. Okay, but he's getting ready to take action. I'm saying he because, or I'm going to say he, but it could be anybody. Somebody is getting ready to take Emperor type action and turn that wheel. Both of these people are in the same exact energy. We've got the Wheel of Fortune with the Ace of Cups behind it and the Tower behind that. I mean, this energy between these two people. Who's? Let me look at this King of Wands. Tell me more about the King of Wands here. It could be the same uh, energy as this. could be anybody. But let me look at this. It, it could be an, an energy of not taking action. 
Tell me about the King of Wands. Why is it reversed? Page of Chalice is reversed. Okay, interesting. And behind that is the Queen of Wands reversed. So these are the same couple. This is the same couple. You guys mirror each other all the way. King and Queen of Wands, Emperor and Empress, High Priestess and Hierophant, High Priest. I mean, High Priestess and High Priest sit right next to each other, back to back, right here on my table. It's kind of mind blowing. This is um, a divine couple, okay? How No matter how I slice this. Um, so what is it? So you're not speaking to each other. No one's taking an action right now. Tell me about the hermit looking into exchanging gifts. This is, I imagine exchanging gifts with my partner. I am focused on exchanging gifts with my partner. I'm enlightened. The Knight of Wands came out in reverse as a challenge. So this tells me that nobody's taken an action yet, but it's been a challenge to do. So I'd like to take an action, but I've been keeping it secret and we haven't been talking about it. We've been on some kind of a break or I'm trying to figure out how to go about bringing it up. Let's find out one more. What is the hermit looking at when he's enlightened about the six of pentacles? What do we need to know about this? about chariot moving forward why because that's my ship right there so this has everything to do with taking an action 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 both of them three of wands chariot beautiful and this is moving towards exactly what i've manifested in the exact this is my ship coming in this is what i want so what is this about it's about whatever you visualize and you call in, right? I've been thinking about, I've been imagining, I've been wanting to work it out with my partner. And I want to go the distance. I want the whole thing, right? And this is the thing that is now. So it's been a challenge for someone to move forward because they've been keeping everything really quiet. Like they haven't spoke up. And, um, you know, the whole thing here really is about speaking a truth. And right behind all this is the ace of swords and the page of swords again the page of swords speaking a truth about something i've been keeping quiet seeing things clearly and saying it uh, i feel as though and look strength is behind that having no fear while i go in and i speak i don't know which one of you this is uh, to me this is your reading so you're the one imagining this um but I think there's an action actually being taken here. So I don't know if this person's coming into you and going to speak their truth to you or if you are thinking about speaking your truth to them. Whoever this is, this is a divine partner. There is an opportunity for a new beginning between these two. No matter where I look, there's big opportunity for new beginnings here. But not if we don't say anything, not if we don't take action, not if we don't move forward towards what we want. This is definitely what somebody wants here. It might be what you both want. Um, I don't know what happened that caused the lack of, um, that caused you two to not be speaking to each other or someone to be fearful of putting the cup out there, but it's about to change. Um, and it's all about fear, really. Everywhere I look, we've got the nine of swords and the devil. This is, I'm so scared. I'm afraid to put myself out there. And spirit's like, no, if you speak up, you'll turn the wheel. If you speak up, you will go from being page of cups in the reverse to putting the cup out there. It will change things. It will reveal the secret it will put your not that it's a secret i think it is kind of, like i'm just staying quiet i don't know if it's necessarily a secret but somebody wants this so badly four one star and herfin this is i constantly think about how this person is my counterpart this person's my person and you are you mirror each other perfectly emperor empress king and queen of wands both and everyone's reversed here um, and they're reversed because of the new, be the new beginnings reversed, first of all, 
um, they're reversed because, well, the page of chalices is reversed not once, but twice. Well, everybody's reversed because, well, the page of cups is reversed here, page of chalices twice. Um, I feel like if someone could face their fears and expose how they feel, we have a divine couple here who will absolutely go the distance. This is after tarot. So this is the next step. Okay, let's just pull you a couple and see what comes out. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What's next here? Capricorn reading, what is next? Yep, I'm going to speak my truth. Where I wasn't speaking before, King of uh, Swords reverse, Eight of Wands reverse, I am now going to speak uh, Queen of Swords. Somebody, and again, King and Queen of Swords, every, every time there's a people card that comes out, there's a mirror of it. There's, this is definitely a divine couple. And these two mirror, uh, mirror each other spiritually too. Emperor, I mean, High Priestess, High Priest. Beautiful. All right, let's take a look at this. What do we need to know here? What are the messages? What is next? do for what is next here seven of wands seven of wands always wins give me more information what's next anything at all what's next yeah there we go look at that wow look at this i want you to see these beautiful cards well first of all we got temperance who brings the higher level two of cups together and this is definitely a higher level two of cups I'm telling you, somebody's got to go in and speak what, fight for what they want and drop the burdens they've been carrying around. And what is the burdens? Just holding back the information and not speaking. There's an opportunity. See how this person's got the ace of wands in their hand? As soon as this is exposed and I say how I feel and I put it out there, there's a new beginning in store here. This is higher level two of cups. If you have some kind of very interesting connection with this person that's different than anyone else and this is more of a very um almost like the imagine card is almost like that um uh what's the word like a telepathic connection between you and this person this is how you'll know if you don't have i mean this could be somebody you're with or been with or were with or just someone that you're supposed to be with um look at this wow two of cups six of wands Ten of Cups. If someone speaks their truth and Spirit is trying to guide you in this direction to speak your truth, everything that's been bottled up, kept in, that you felt was so burdensome because a connection like this can feel burdensome. Now, don't get me wrong. This is not a connection where we've abused each other. This is a very divine connection. There could be like this connection, uh, imagine, where you just don't understand why you're so connected to this person, but you are. Um, and this is um, a beautiful, if someone would speak their truth and spirit is encouraging someone to speak their truth, lay down the burdens of um, the fear of the, you know, the seven of wands can be, I'm, I'm guarding myself and blocking myself. I'm afraid and holding the, holding all this in can feel like a burden. There's a new opportunity here. And we've seen it here in the ace of swords. We've seen it here in the ace of wands in this person's hand. This is the after tarot. This is no longer the 10 of wands. This is the ace of wands. Okay. This is after I speak a truth, after I go in and tell someone how I feel, after I go in and fight for what I want, let my guard down and allow myself to speak look at what comes in this divine connection comes together look at the two of cups how they come together okay this is a victory six of wands this is victory getting the victory reef after the battle right and the ten of cups happiness joy you know there's something very divine about this um and if this is somebody you're with and something split you apart i feel like there's still a very divine connection between you that can be fixed right um you know and if yeah and if somebody in this divine connection screwed up this is repairable um you know like i said I, th if this is a new relationship or someone that you've never really been with before there would be no like abusive behavior between you and this person it would just be different okay i that's how i feel i feel like it would be different i don't see any abusive behavior here at all none zero none 
this is a divine connection where the, the feelings are being either hidden or not fully understood and we need to bring them out and fully understand them. But this happens through conversation and truth. This happens through exchanging this with the other person. Somebody's got to be the bigger person to stand up and say, do you feel this connection between us or is it just me? Or, you know, or even after we broke up, I still have this very, like, serious connection to you. Do you feel it? You know what I mean? Like, somebody would have to be the bigger person and be willing to, you know, put themselves out there, which is scary, right? It is scary. Someone's scared. They're holding back, scared. And we had the strength card come out earlier as well, holding back and fearful of putting themselves out there. And spirit says, have the strength, there it is again, to speak your truth here because it's necessary in this situation. I hope this makes sense to someone. I'm going to pull you a couple of angel cards. Angels, what do we need to know here? One more, please, from the bottom. Light. Yes, yeah, spirit's bringing this together right? And it's respect. Wow. A matter of respect. Okay. So yeah, there's a, there's a, remember again, this is a respectful couple. This is not going to be a couple running around doing bad things to each other. It's not exploration. All right. Look into it. Um, this is the hermit again, shining the light on, uh, what do I have to do? So the hermit's reversed. So I already been enlightened, but what the hermit's looking for or was looking for and is now enlightened is how do I go about exchanging gifts with the person? You know, this is the same card virtually. How do I go about this? What do I do? And the, this hermit has been enlightened. So when I, uh, clarify that, you know, <laughs> I get this the chariot and the three of wands if you want that ship to come in go for it move forward quickly do what you need to do to bring this soulmate relationship together i think i feel like someone has to speak a truth is what i feel um there's something here and spirit's encouraging someone to speak a truth and um you know in a very respectful manner and enlightenment this exploration always reminds me of that hermit figuring out the way to go about doing it uh, in this respectful way. I feel like it's going to mean the world, really. That light card is just like the temperance card for me with spirit stepping in to bring it together. Anyway, guys, have a great week this week. Please do keep in mind that next week I'm going to try to get readings out again, but these are a two-week reading, so save this and you can revisit it next week or you could just come back on the channel but it will be more uh, easily accessible for you if you save it um anyway guys thank you so much thanks for hitting the like i appreciate you guys talk to you soon Bye bye